With the Regicide update, we consider the game to be content and feature complete. What this means is they are done adding content, meaning this is Chivalry 2's last map. Hey everyone, I'm sure most of you have already heard the news that Chivalry 2 has come to an end. Something I predicted two months back on my Chivalry 2 video where I put the final update and unfortunately that became a reality. Most of you guys were speculating this was the end including me. A lot of you were saying no we're gonna have a huge war with Tenosia with Agatha and we're gonna get we're gonna continue to get content because the Tenosian arc isn't done and with Torn Banner's return for any updates you know any signs of new content we get heartbreaking news that the game is done we're, and we're kind of left off in a cliffhanger it honestly saddens the community i've been seeing a lot of people thinking about leaving moving on and you know this game was already dying i mean if regicide never came out and the game never became free this game would probably be dead and with this recent news that might be the reality pretty soon which is very unfortunate and heartbreaking you know i love playing this game i had a ton of fun playing from east central to west for three years straight uh, it was a blast boys we've all been abandoned i'm gonna go ahead and read this hotfix then i'm gonna be reading their blog of them basically stating that they're kind of done with the game and they're leaving i haven't read it yet so if you guys want to skip to the part where i read it i'll have a timestamp down below in the description or i might have it on the screen i'll actually probably add chapters just so it's easier and if you're curious to see what the blog or the hotfix says i'll also have links in the description and you can read all the information there all right let's jump into this hotfix and see what they've changed and see what their final message is for chivalry 2. all right patch 211 tyrant citadel balance changes and bug fixes man i hope they fix the map because it's been a pain i've played this map more than 100 times and i've only been argon or malaric probably twice so hopefully they did some balance changes that make sense and they don't really need to put their fingers and constantly change stuff so let's see what we have good morrow nights a minor hotfix 2.11 has been released with regicide at tyran citadel balance changes and bug fixes and more Ooh. all right so the fuse for the timer is decreased from 30 seconds down to 25 seconds a five second difference not bad you know maybe 20 would be nice <laughs> just because their spawn is right next to the statue but hey five seconds that's a plus reduced delay in agathan's spawn positioning change during the second phase of placing power kegs okay that's good this is good because on this new map when you would attack as agatha and you would die you would spawn like 50 miles back and the masons they would be right next to the fucking statue they are bing chilling they're not even worried all the agathans are all the way back at the fucking gate it was getting pretty annoying dying to ballistas or holding a bomb and walking for like two minutes just to get to the statue and get ganked so positioning is going to be very important for this new map vip versus vip stage increase the possible final timer by three minutes nice we're gonna have more fucking time that's awesome five minutes is not enough especially when malaric just hides up there fixed bug that causes argon's health to be slightly less than intended Oh, okay, I didn't even know that was a bug. Reduce the spawn delay for Agathan troops by one second. Nice. And let's see what the dev said. The dev notes indicate, We've loved hearing all the reception and feedback towards Tyran Citadel. We're so glad our community has been enjoying the spectacle of the new map. You know, it's kind of mixed, Torn Banner, but hey as long as you fixed it i'm gonna start loving it although we love that argon's final push to avenge his father was reflected in this difficulty for attackers after monitoring matches and feedback since the release we believe argon and his troops need a little assistance partially in the later half of the map do not worry defenders as plenty of opportunities to remain to hold back the agathans and protect malric from these unjust invaders i mean malric just has to sit back and chill and the team needs to just you know push out and rush argon it is it is really easy to win matches on Tryon Citadel, especially <laughs> when the king just sits back. I've played this map so many times, guys, and 9 out of 10 times, Malbrick will just sit in the back. You know, the first time I played him, I was kind of all over the place, but I did not sit in the back and just wait for the king to die. So if you guys ever see a Malbrick that just sits in the back, he is a cowardly king that does not want to face his opponent. Let's see what they changed. And this doesn't really matter. Let's move the combat. I don't really want to read all of this. I want to get all the important things out to you guys. Fix a bug that allowed the spoon item to stab back and found Tryon Citadel to be used repeatedly too quickly. Okay. 
gives me flashbacks to the sickle fix a bug that prevents spikes on dual yard from dueling damage that's for dueling fix a potential crash that could occur on dual yard yeah that's never happened to me yet maybe you guys on console i know a lot of console players crash so hopefully they you know fixed a lot of those issues and then gamepad fixed the bug that prevented a ballista from being fired again and yeah i don't use a ballista or archer i don't use the cuckery now let's go to the main reason why you all clicked on this video and that is the end of chivalry 2 so let's go to the blog and see what they say all right this is a message from torn banner and i'm guessing this is goodbye until chivalry 3 and hopefully they come out with a bang. Knights, we've cherished the epic journey that we've taken with all of you over the past few years. With Chivalry 2, we set out to make the ultimate medieval battlefield game. An unparalleled multiplayer experience that realized our dream of being a warrior on the fields of battle, inspired by classic medieval movie scenes and old tales of glory from history. And you know, when they talk about this, this just reminds me of Tenosia and the movie 300, when it's Xerxes and his army against, you know, the Mason Order or Agatha in the Chivalry 2 universe. So that's kind of awesome that, you know, they talk about movie scenes and old tales. I really hope they make Chivalry 3 because, you know, Chivalry 2 is something special. It's very unique and there's no other game out there like it when it comes to multiplayer it just reminds me so much of battlefield i'm a huge battlefield fan and a dice fan when they were making very great games but unfortunately things have taken a turn and chivalry 2 was the revival for me i hopped on chivalry 2 and i just got a instant release of star wars battlefront 2 or battlefield that's what made chivalry 2 great for me and hopefully chivalry 3 is you know 10 times better all right let's get back into the blog when the game launched we pledged to at least double the size of chivalry 2 post launch by adding new maps modes weapons features and experiences to ensure we had delivered a strong and lasting vision of the ultimate medieval battlefield game now if you guys are curious they have a link for the roadmap that they launched and here's a really quick picture of all the dlcs they've added from the game from launch to Gallancourt, the uh fight in night this is brawl I believe to Aberfell. I wasn't really playing at the time here, but uh, Aberfell, and then after Aberfell, it was Tenosia. And when Tenosia first came out, it was only 20v20. And later on, they switched it to 64, thankfully. But hey, I'm always gonna hate a nighttime boat win that should have never been in 64. Uh, moving on to a reinforced uh, that is the Phaedrid and Malric armor. We didn't really get a map for this, just two special armors, I believe. And then moving on to the winter update when we first see Argon and you get to fight him. Moving on to to Tenosia finally attacking the Agathon army, sending Argon a message saying, yeah, we're coming for you. And uh, moving on to a reclamation of Munkrooks, Argon doing a counterattack to the attack of Bridgetown. And then we had Duel of the Fates, and after that was the last update where the two kings clash. Now they stated, over the course of the game's schedule of updates, we're proud to have brought players an array of content and features since the game launched, including a massive boost to the number of team objectives maps increasing the count from 5 to 13. 13 sounds like a lot but after three years you know they can kind of get stale. Now with the regicide update we consider the game to be content and feature complete. What this means is they are done adding content meaning this is Chivalry 2's last map. I believe they might add hotfixes, updates, or if something major happens like hackers running around and just slaying everybody, you know, obviously they might come back or just more balance changes for Regicide. I haven't played the new map yet, so once I get back in there and see if they really balanced it and it's a bit more fair, then I'll be the judge of that. But this is very heartbreaking news. I really wanted to see Tenosia against Agatha. And from the looks of it of this map, I do think Malric might die and and this guy takes over the whole kingdom where the Mason Order and Agatha kind of merge forces and they might be going against Tenosia or we might have been left off of a cliffhanger. We don't know what happens. Malric survived, Argon ran away. We'll know till Chivalry 3. Now, the last thing they say is though every story comes to an end, we know many players will be disappointed by the news, but this isn't the end for the Chivalry franchise. That indicates we are getting a Chivalry 3. Holy shit, boys. Let's go. That is a double you right there now finally they say with a focused effort to ensure that when the next chivalry title is released it will utterly blow players away whoa a big statement from torn banner well torn banner if you don't add archers in the next game i will be fucking blown away and make sure for the love of god for me 
please add the Highland sword. I need my beloved sword in Chivalry 3. They say this isn't the end for Chivalry 2 either. The game will continue to be supported for maintenance of any critical issues affecting the player base, online services like official servers, unofficial servers, and matchmaking will continue to be available to players. Big W, so that's good. They're not going to completely cut off the servers. We want to thank our incredible community of players for helping to make Chivalry 2 the success that it's been. We'll see you on the battlefield. And that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Two months ago, I predicted this would have been the last update, and I was right, unfortunately. Uh, it just brings sadness to all of our hearts, and I know a lot of regulars, you guys have mixed feelings, and same with content creators. One thing I will say about this game is you can stop playing this game for two days, a week, or a month, and coming back to it, it'll click in your head like it's the first time you played it. And that's my experience with this game. When I've taken breaks like a week, a month, and I come back to it and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> like what is going on around me? There's just chaos going around. The game's fun, hilarious, and you know, I almost had zero complaints with it. The only thing that it lacked was content, a bunch of hackers running around, and you know, Torn Banner not really taking responsibility. I think that's a big one when it came to the community. Instead of banning everybody and silencing people, they could have done a better job with communication and handling things instead of, you know, hiding it away, pushing it away. And you know, I don't even want to get into that. Uh, that's just a whole another video I can make that into uh, but regardless when it comes to me I don't know what's gonna happen you know I might make a few more videos of the game and I might move on I might not it depends on you guys if you guys want to keep watching you know leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think to end this video off from you know playing since the start to the end seeing people leave slowly and slowly disappear like one by one uh, it's almost like the Thanos snap glove when people are disappearing I'd like to think of it as we're all just missing in action. But I hope you all enjoyed my take and my thoughts of Chivalry 2's life cycle. Again, thank you so much for watching and peace out, guys. Mm, what the fuck am I gonna play now? Fucked up I am!